वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग ट्रायल बैलेंस ऑफ मेसर्स अर्जुन एंड सन्स आज एन थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च 2016 थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन प्रिपेयर ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट एंड बैलेंस शीट आफ्टर ड्रॉइंग दिस इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू गुड एडजस्टमेंट्स थ्री थर्ड पॉइंट बैड डेट एंड प्रोविजन देन फोर्थ पॉइंट डेप्री रेंट इज पेड फॉर इलेवेन मंथ्स एंड फिफ्थ एडजस्टमेंट लोन फ्रॉम बैंक वॉज टेकन ऑन फर्स्ट अक्टोबर टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन एंड प्रोवाइड मैनेजर्स कमीशन एट टेन परसेंट ऑन नेट प्रॉफिट आफ्टर चार्जिंग सच कमीशन वेरी गुड एडजस्टमेंट ओके विल हैव टू स्टार्ट विथ इन द बुक्स ऑफ मेसर्स अर्जुन एंड सन्स ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट फॉर द ईयर एंडेड थर्टी फर्स्ट मार्च टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन ड्रॉ द ट्रेडिंग अकाउंट यू कैन हाव You you have to start from the credit side. That is, by sales rupees one lakh fifty five thousand, by closing stock rupees sixty four thousand, in the debit side to opening stock rupees forty two thousand, to purchases rupees eighty two thousand six hundred, less purchases return rupees one thousand six hundred. In the final column, we will have rupees eighty one thousand regarding net purchases. Next one is our two wages rupees four thousand and add outstanding twenty four hundred adjustment number two wages outstanding rupees twenty four hundred it it will be written twice once in the trading account and the next time we will be writing it in the liability side of the balance sheet under the head current liabilities and in the final column we will have rupees six thousand four hundred. Next is your factory expenses that is to carriage inwards that is amount paid to bring the goods inside the godown to power power is usually spent in the expenditure for the factory and total your credit side which is rupees two lakh nineteen thousand take it to the debit side and deduct the Five amounts that is to net profit to gross profit carried down to gross profit carried down that is rupees eighty two thousand four hundred. Then we will uh, take it to the profit and loss account that is in the profit and loss account by gross profit brought down rupees eighty two thousand four hundred. Then next one will be the expenditure to rent that is rupees twenty two thousand, and the adjustment four tells us rent is paid for eleven months. That is rent is given twenty two thousand for eleven months. Hence monthly rent will be rupees twenty two thousand divided by eleven. That is rupees two thousand, and we have to show rental expenses for twelve months. Hence, one month's rent is outstanding, which is rupees two thousand. Hence, add outstanding rent two thousand. In the final column, we will have rupees twenty four thousand. The rent for the whole year, for twelve months. Next one, our salary rupees fifteen thousand. To insurance rupees thirty six hundred. To depreciation and machinery at the rate of ten percent on rupees fifty thousand, which is rupees five thousand. to outstanding interest on loan we have been told that in adjustment 5 loan from bank was taken on 1st october 2015 october 1 october 1 to 31st march 2016 is exactly 6 months and there is no interest paid as per the trial balance and in the adjustment nothing is mentioned except this adjustment that means we have not paid the interest on loan for 6 months Which is rupees twenty five thousand into eight percent for six months. That is rupees thousand. Hence, outstanding interest on loan rupees thousand will be shown in the final column, and it will be shown as an as a current liability under the head current liabilities in the liability side of the balance sheet. Next one being to further add it rupees six hundred. Because here in the adjustment, we have 
bad debts rupees 600 and provision of 5% on debtors is there hence further bad debt is only there are two bad debts in the adjustment one is further bad debt one is new provision there is no other treatment for bad debt in the trial balance hence with further bad debt we have to add new provision finding out new provision is very important this further bad debt which is to be deducted from debtors hence debtors is uh, add new provision for bad debt is rupees 1000 because you see the third last item in the trial balance is debtors rupees 20600 less further added rupees 600 we will have rupees 20000 and 5% of this is new provision hence 20000 into 5% that is rupees 1000 in the final column we will be showing rupees 1600 then gross profit will be written in the final column that is will be rupees 82400 in the credit side take it to the debit side and find out the difference to net profit carried down and there is a manager's commission and provide manager's commission at 10 percent on the net profit after charging such commission hence i have bifurcated this profit and loss account in two parts one is net profit before commission one is net profit after commission hence this is not the final calculation it is an interim calculation the difference is two balance carried down that is 32200 this is net profit before commission take it to the next line by net by balance brought down 32200 this is net profit before commission then two read this last adjustment provide managers commission at 10 percent after charging such commission hence to outstanding managers commission we have not found out managers commission till yet now we are calculating hence we must not have paid it will be shown twice once here as outstanding managers commission once in the current liabilities in the liability side of the balance sheet here outstanding managers commission rupees 2927 that is rupees 32200 into 10 by 110 that is rupees 2927 why this 10 by 110 that is find out the commission in such a such a way that after deducting this commission whatever net profit will come now that's 10 percent will be exactly rupees 2927 this is what the question tells us after charging such commission this is such commission 2927 after charging this out of 32200 whatever profit will be there that, that profits exact 10 by 100 will be rupees 2927 see how come total the credit side that 32200 deduct 2927 you will be getting rupees 29273 this is to net profit carried down after charging managers commission this 29273 into 10 by 100 will be 2927 this is what i have already explained in after commission you have to charge that is percentage net profit before commission into percentages of commission upon 100 plus percentage this is net profit before charging after charging such commission that means charge the commission in such a way that net profit after charging this commission whatever profit will be there that profits 10 percent will be this commission 2927 then go down to the balance sheet that is balance sheet as at 31st March 2016 in the asset side we have current assets cash in hand rupees 1500 sundry debtors rupees 20,600 less further bad debt or additional bad debt or bad debt given in the adjustment that is rupees 6000 then whatever is there that is 20,000 rupees this 20,000 is after already written of bad debt further added and we have to provide five percent of this that is less new provision five percent of rupees twenty thousand that is rupees one thousand hence after deducting one thousand we can now write down 
rupees nineteen thousand in the final column. That is rupees nineteen thousand. Next one is closing stock rupees sixty four thousand. Then fixed assets under this furniture rupees fourteen thousand. Machinery rupees fifty thousand. Less depreciation rupees five thousand. We will have rupees forty five thousand in the final column. And the totaling is rupees one lakh forty three thousand five hundred. In the liability side, we will have current liabilities that is creditors rupees eighteen thousand nine hundred. Then outstanding managers commission rupees two nine two seven. Outstanding rent rupees two thousand. Outstanding wages rupees twenty four hundred. Then outstanding interest on loan rupees thousand. These four are adjustments and these are to be shown twice within this question next one being long term liabilities and capital we will have 8% bank loan that is rupees 25000 was taken before 6 months on october 1 this was taken then next one your capital rupees 80000 less drawings rupees 18000 add net profit rupees 27 29273 And in the final column, we will have is ninety-one thousand two hundred seventy-three. The totaling will be rupees one lakh forty-three thousand five hundred, and this is the final answer.